Surprise everybody, it's story time right here in Waikoloka Valley. Aloha, Ekoma, Ebula Niku, Ome, Nadea, Ekoma, Ebula Niku, Ome. Preach to those words. Oahu. Welcome to Waikoloha Valley. My name is Uncle Aito, one of the caretakers here at Aulani, which means most of the time I go around, I change light bulbs, I trim hedges, I mow lawns, stuff like that. But one of the perks of my job when Auntie deems fit to let me out is come out here, tell some stories, share a little bit of culture of Hawaii, and sing ever so slightly off key. My friend, right here, buddy, I'm going to ask for your help. Uh, as I'm telling stories out here, I need to keep this area clear. So just make your way down there. There's some wonderful seats over there. Thank you so much for your assistance. Mahalo Nui. Now, uh, uh, the, like I said, my name is, oh, he's back in the water, very good. My name is Uncle Aito, um, and the story I'm gonna share with you folks this evening is one of my favorite stories to tell here. I love to tell the story. Well, the reason I love to tell this story in particular is because this is, a, this is a story about something you can see. Let me draw your attention to the mural on the Kai side, the ocean side of the White and I Tower right over there. Because if you look up into that mural, you will notice that there's a very handsome young man with a very handsome hair bun. Now friends, that is a depiction of Maui. And Maui is not just some dude from some movie. Maui is actually an ancestor all throughout the Pacific. And stories are told of Maui the hero all throughout Polynesia. Pretty much anywhere you go, they claim him for their own, right? In these Polynesian islands. Uh, they'll tell you he's from there. So for instance, if you find yourself in Aotearoa in New Zealand, which is right over there, about three, no, about 4,000 miles. They'll tell you Maui's from there, they'll tell you stories that take place in Aotearoa from the Maori culture of that place. If you find yourself in the friendly isles of Samoa, right down there about 2,600 miles or so, they'll tell you Maui's from there, they'll tell you stories that take place in Samoa of Maui and his brothers. Go to Tonga, you hear stories about Maui. Go to Tahiti, you hear stories about Maui. If you find yourself all the way down at Rapa Nui, Easter Island, right down there about 3,600 miles, they tell you Maui's from there. But here in Hawaii, we know, of course, well, Maui's from here. But even within the islands, you're bound to find some controversy. Maybe one of these days you find yourself on the lovely island of Maui, right over there. They'll say, Maui's from here, look at the name of our island, which is actually pronounced slightly differently, not that anybody notices, even though they live on Maui. That's how they talk over there, they use their hands a lot. But here on the west side of Oahu, we know, of course, well, Maui's from here. In fact, the Waianae Coast, here at Kolina, we sit on the far southern end of the Moku, the district of Waianae. And Waianae has a very, very, very strong tradition of stories about Maui. If you head up the coast of here just a bit, you'll come to a wonderful place called Nanakuli, where according to our Waianae tradition, Maui himself was born. And our friend Maui, well, Maui is known for many things. For one, he's known for being very ikaika. And that's how you say strong in Hawaii. And legend had it that Maui was so ikaika, he was able to ha, lift the sky ha, from where the sky used to sit down close to the ground. He was able to lift the sky up, 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 up into the heavens where we see it now, making it much easier for all of us to walk around upright. Maui was also known for being very akamai. That's how you say smart in Hawaii. And legend had it that Maui was so akamai, he was able to outsmart even death herself. Maui was also known to be a little bit kolohe. That's how you say rascally in Hawaii. And indeed, Maui liked to uh, cause trouble from time to time. So again, we got Maui the kolohe, Maui the mischief maker. 
Maui the Akamai, Maui the Brilliant, Maui the Ikaika, Maui the Mighty. Growing up, I wanted to be just like Maui. And as he grew up here on the west side of Oahu, one of his favorite things to do was to spend time out in the ocean with his brothers. In fact, the boys spent so much time playing out there at sea that Maui's father gave him a very special ma'ako, a very special fish, a fish hook that was so special it had its own name. It was called Manaia Kalani, or Hook of the Heavens. And this ma'ako, this fish hook, was made from the ivy, from the bones of one of Maui's ancestors. And being made from this very sacred and special material, it carried all of Maui's ancestors' manna, their spiritual power. It was indeed a magical fish hook. And with Manaya Kalari, Maui could catch up any fish if he wanted. So one day he decided to do something no one else had done before. He decided he would go out and he would catch the great Ulua, a giant fish named Pimo. Now, P. Moy was said to be of mythical proportions, legend had it, and he was very, very, very large, especially for one fish. It was also thought to be uncatchable. In fact, the stories meant that if anyone should look at P. Moy, the fish would immediately turn himself into stone, making it very difficult to get him near a canoe. Well, Mo, we figured he'd get around that. And so he came up with a plan that was brave, a plan that was bold, and he loaded up all his brothers in their va, in their canoe. And the boys, they paddled the way out to sea, out to the deepest, darkest, bluest part of the ocean, out of sight of all of our island of Oahu behind them. And once they made it to the very right spot, Maui took his magical fish of Manaya Kalani on its line, and he sent it spinning through the sky and flying through the air and bloop, into the water. And for a moment, all was silent and still. Until suddenly, ha, they had snagged something. Now Maui knew that this was no ordinary fish. And he pulled on that line with all his considerable might. And he called to his brothers behind him. He said, Hoi! Hoi! Now, Hoi in Hawaiian means to paddle. And the brothers, they paddled as hard as they could. And Maui called to them again. He said, don't turn around no matter what you do. If you look back at Pimoy, all will be lost. So Maui pulled as his brothers paddled. The brothers paddled as Maui pulled and on and on for two whole days. As the brothers struggled against that giant fish out there in the deep blue sea. Until finally the mountains in lie above us. The white and I range with Ka'ala at its peak. Well, those mountains peaked up over the horizon ahead of the brothers. And the boys could feel themselves getting closer and closer to home. And one of Maui's brothers, huh, still paddling, huh, with the one little strength he still had left. Well, suddenly that brother felt a curiosity take over his body. He tried to look away. He looked down at his feet. He closed his eyes as tight as he could, but had one eye open and the other eye, and he couldn't help himself. He turned to look back, and when he did, huh, the fishing line snapped, sending Manaya Kaladi flying through the sky. Oh, the brothers, they took a moment to catch their breath, and then in unison they turned back to see what they had caught. But when they looked behind them, they didn't find a fish. Indeed, Pimoy had become something else. He'd become mountains and valleys, streams and beaches. He had become the island of Kauai, off to the west of us here on Oahu. That broke Maui's heart. Not only had he lost his magical fish, which was now a beautiful island, but he had lost his magical fish. Hole. But when the sun set and the stars emerged in the heavens above, Maui noticed something new in the skies. You folks might have seen it yourself before. In fact, right about now, it should be hanging out about there in the sky. You might know it by a different name. You might know it as Scorpio from the tale of a legendary scorpion. But here in Hawaii, we know that that constellation is in fact Manai Akalani, Maui's magical fish hook, the hook of the heavens, still fishing to this very day. Well, mahalo nui ohana. Thank you so much for letting me join you here in Waikoloha Valley. There'll be more stories later on this evening, but right now I gotta go 
change some more light bulbs, yeah? Those stories will come later on at 8.15 and 9 o'clock, which is, of course, um, later. But until we meet again, ahui ho akuno. Have a wonderful evening. Mahalo. That's really good. So guys, just to give you a little bearing of where that's at, it is um, right here below the lava volcano, outside of Off the Hook. He uh, comes out to the main pool here and does a little tenement show three times a night.